We came back. How's it going? <laughs> How was lunch? Guys. It was macaroni and cheese and uh, a bun and some milk. So it was good. Oh, that's not it's bad. It's your milk with everything. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Chocolate milk or regular milk? Oh, just regular milk. Oh. Chocolate milk's, I guess that's like, uh, special, special. special. <laughs> it is a holiday today, you know that. I know, but okay. I think I think they had chocolate milk on Christmas. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they got milk with everything here, obviously, you know, the state, so. Yeah. Uh, a lot of dairy. The dairy state. Yeah. So, so they, got, they got cheese with a lot of stuff, too, so. Not really cheese. Yeah. Well, we brought you some non lactose power rate if you'd like it. Seriously? Yeah. Well, yours. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Um, so we don't want to take you, you know, all day. Um, and we really do appreciate being able to sit down and talk with us. Um, there's a few things we want to kind of clear up, wrap up, and then if you have any questions for us, um, that'd be fine too. Um, don't let me forget. Did you want to talk about Ronnie real quick or no? I talked to your dad uh, while we were at lunch. Oh, okay. And uh, a couple things we talked about, your property and, you know, waiting on the DA's office. And, but then he also, the reason he called was uh, Dave Cohen. Dave Cohen? Okay. Yeah, he's going to go pick up some of your personal items out of the house. Okay. Today, so. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to let you know that. Okay. We didn't tell him anything about what we talked no, about. No, he doesn't oh, know okay. we're here. <clears throat> yeah. He doesn't even know we're here. No. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Well, he just lives, like, around the corner from me, so that right. would be good. Yeah. Yeah, so you just, a lot of times anybody, when anybody goes over there, they usually call just so I can give everybody a heads up that way, you know, have an issue with neighbors calling and saying, you know, somebody's getting into the house. Okay. So that's how we do that. Okay. Has anybody been, like, checking on the house to make sure, like, pipes haven't broken and all that kind of stuff? Water's off. Okay, good. I do know that. Um, I was worried about, like, you know, you know, sprinkling all that stuff. I usually blow them out and all that kind of stuff. Right, but right. I figured, yeah, I don't know anybody was actually going through it or watching it. The water's water's been off for a while. I do know that the okay. power's still on there. So. Oh, it is. Yeah. Gotcha. So, um, fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know how you want to look at it, but um, we need to get a tiny bit more into the weeds and into the mechanics of um, the time you showed up at the house when Officer Kumarov was there, okay. till the time when uh, we were all done talking. Okay. Um, so that includes at the house, that includes at the oil site, um, and everything. Okay. okay. And part of the reason we need to get into that is um, I mentioned before how we're just really want to get into the mindset of what happened. Um, and you can imagine this is really important for us in the future when we're talking to a guy that's in your position to say, you know, this isn't really a monster. This is more like a Chris Watts. And boy, we remember with Chris, had we asked this or had we done this, we really could have been better. Um, and so that's why we want to get into the mechanics of it a little bit more with you. Um, and that's going to mean exactly how, exactly when, where were you, what was, you know, Shanann wearing or, or all of that, right? Um, so we really just need for you to take a deep breath and get into it with us. And would it be all right if we ask you some specific questions? Okay. Um, so one of the first things we want to talk about was when you came home, so this is after they had passed, and you came home and met with Officer Coonrod, um, one of the first things we see on the video is you walking into the garage and then into the uh, Shanann's car. Do you remember what that was about? In your car? Yeah, like I think you opened the door or something? Yeah, you opened the passenger door, and it looks like you were looking for something or maybe you picked something up. Do you recall what that was? Not that I'm aware of, not like, not looking for anything, but maybe just opening the car door to see if, like, you know, see if it's her, because uh, I think, Nikki was saying, I think I see the car seat still in there. Yeah. Something like that. And I was, okay. you know, when I opened up the door, I looked in just to, uh, it's like the first, like, reaction of, like, whatever, everybody's just waiting, pretty much waiting to get in the house. Pretty much. Right, right. Okay. So I didn't, I wasn't, like, looking for anything as far as, specific or anything, but I was just, I don't know, just reaction going in there, and, and I know everybody's there. I don't know what's going to happen when they sure. go to the house. 
think it's out of nervousness, maybe? Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of it was out of nervousness. Sure. Okay. okay. And then backing up a tiny bit, I jumped forward <clears throat> too, too far. Um, so she comes home at 2 in the morning. Um, she gets into bed. Was when you guys had sex together, was that pretty quickly after she came home? I think it was around like 2.30 because she, I felt like she'd be in bed for, for a little while. A little bit? Okay. Yeah. Um, and forgive me, it's it's not a pervy thing, but she woke you up? Yeah, she was just, I could, I could feel like feel like a hand was okay. on me, like rubbing my leg or my chest or something okay. like that. And then that was, you know, signal it's go time type thing? Pretty much. Okay. She was like, yeah. Okay. okay I get it. Um, and then that was maybe a half an hour after. Mm-hmm. And then after that, is there any talking? Or was it just kind of a yeah, just like, just quiet in the middle of the night? Yeah. <laughs> just like I just, I just felt I just felt her hand around me. I'm just like, what? Oh, just time like, to go. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's funny. All right. Um, then a couple hours of sleep. Alarm goes off. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess what I don't understand is, so then there was some talking. And then, how did you get on top of her? How did that happen? It's like when I got into bed, I just pretty because she was laying. When she when she was sleeping, she was laying like face down, which she really never does. Okay. And I was I just got into bed and I kind of nudged her, and then she like kind of rolled over, and then I was just like just like right there on top of her. Okay. And so that was after you'd gotten ready. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you go down, you make your food. Oh yeah, I got like cottage cheese and another couple of things that I would make okay. food that day. Okay. And then, so this is, we talked a little bit earlier today about, you know, there was all of these things playing in your mind where you just didn't even want to go another second without having this conversation or without some sort of completion, right? Mm-hmm. And then so you come back, she's asleep, and then you just kind of nudge her? Yeah, I just kind of like, hey, wake up for a second. And was there a nudge talk for 20 minutes, or was it just a nudge and then all of a sudden you're on top of her? No, she's pretty much on top. Okay, so that happened pretty quickly. Yeah, it was that's how we kind of pretty much talked. Okay. That was just right there. And was there talking? Yeah. Okay. And so a nudge, a talk, she's laying down and you're standing up? I was on, I was like, I, I crawled back, I got on my side of the bed. Uh huh. And I just like nudged her like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you're talking while you're on top of her? Mm-hmm. Okay. That seems confusing to me. Is that actually what happened? Okay. Um, and so... And she was fine, like, just laying there? Like, you trying to talk to her while you're on top of her? I think she maybe thought we were going to have sex again or something. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And how long did you talk? About 15, 20 minutes. Really? In that position? Okay. And was there any sex? No. Okay. Maybe she... I'm basically from the position that we were in. Maybe she maybe thought maybe I'd try to go again. I don't know. Okay. And, and I don't harp on it too much, but I'm just trying to think... If my wife's four months pregnant and it's five o'clock in the morning and I want to talk and I want to get on top of her, that's just not going to fly. So that's why I'm confused. So is that really what happened? Yeah. Okay. And then talk for about 15 minutes and then it's heated and then your hands are on her neck. Okay. All right. Um, what did the talk? What, what did the talk? Basically, just. The- <laughs> About how well, at first it was more of like the you know selling the house type of thing, or not going to Aspen, or trying to maybe go in a, at a different time, and then just switched all to the I don't feel like I'm in love with you anymore, not compatible. And went to that, and that's when I got to the heated part of it. Okay. Did she ever say at some point get off of me or anything like that? At the end. Yeah. That's what she said. I don't want you to feel like you know because. Where I was, it was kind of like she didn't want me to, like, to, you know, sit down or, like, hurt the baby or anything yeah. like that. So it was just kind of like, Did so. she accuse you of cheating at that point? Mm-hmm. So what'd she say? She's like, I knew there was somebody else. I knew there was somebody else. I, just, I, I didn't come out to say, you know, that there is somebody else, but she obviously already knew. And your response to that was what? Did she say, no, there's not? <clears throat> deny it. I believe I just denied it, but I mean, at that point, because I'd always, because when she would accuse me at the beach, it was a lot of like, no, there's nobody else, you know, there's nobody else, you know, or like, you know, and when we got back home, she always like said, there's got to be somebody else, because she'd always talk to her friends, like Christina or somebody on text messaging, and they'd always say, there's got to be somebody else. If, He's not wanting to sleep with you, like he's getting it from somewhere else. And 
there's, you know, there's nowhere else. I mean, she couldn't really say I would get anywhere else because I was using those Android gift cards, so it's kind of like, you know, she just made me getting distant, but she knew, and I just, that's, that's mainly the reason why I talked to her, because I knew, like, after that night, it was just like, it felt like, I just felt guilty, more guilty than ever before. Yeah. Um, and then, it seems to me, and, sorry, I had a lot of thoughts here. So we know what happened, and we can talk about it today kind of openly, um, and that's what we need from you, is to just kind of say, you know, I know it sounds bad, or I know this, or I know I feel this way, but physically this is exactly what happened. Um, so if you could tell us that, it seems then that it would have had to have been a, a pretty quick transition from two people talking to this, yeah. right? Is that what happened? Yeah, it was like, I don't want to, like, trying to think of the last, last things we were talking about, but it was, you know, like, I love you, I love you anymore, and then she was like, you're never going to see the kiss. Oh, that was it. That's perfect, Chris. That's exactly what we need. Okay. And I know it's hard to walk through that again, but that's exactly what we need. So then, as soon as she started talking like that, then it was on. Okay. But it was you saying that you didn't love her? Is that right? Okay. And her saying, you're never going to see the kids. Yeah. Okay. I can imagine how that made you feel. I'm sorry. It did, did more than what it did. Yeah. Um, and then, the fact that she didn't scratch at you or anything, is that just because it was so powerful? I don't think it, I mean, I didn't feel like I've never done that before, but uh-huh. I answer on anybody before, so I don't even know what kind of force I was putting on her neck. Okay. But it, like I said, two to four minutes, I don't know if that was two to four minutes. Did you cover her face at all during that time? Both hands on the neck. Okay. And so... If it's done right, I mean, that can be a matter of seconds before someone on their carotid loses oxygen to their brain and it's out, right? Did it seem like it was that quick or, okay, maybe a minute, maybe two? Okay. Screaming? Okay. Um, All right. Uh, Did you see eyes go bloodshot or anything like that? Okay. Okay. You kept talking about the mascara. Did you see mascara on her face? Yes, it looked like it was like... Uh, that's what I attributed it to. Is it was she crying? Is that why? At what point did she start crying? When I, I'm talking about the relationship about not being compatible. And when she's talking about uh, there's somebody else, that's where she started crying. That's where I thought, you know, it was mascara. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if it was it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Was there a pillow or something you were wanting to ask about? Yeah, so there was... Was there ever uh, at any time a pillow or the sheet or anything involved in like that on, on her face specifically? No? Okay. Not like the sheet uh, kind of wrapped around the you know, get downstairs of the... Uh, the one that was at the site? Okay. And then the other sheets, they were in the trash. At what point did you put those in there? I think that was... Obviously, after I was in the house. Yeah. I think it was probably the next day or so. Okay. I think, it, like, I don't know. I'm not sure, like, what happened. This is hard to talk about, like, when... Yeah, yeah. Strangle some... I don't like... Sometimes, I guess, they used the bathroom. Hmm. So, it was, like, I think that's one of the major reasons why, because I think that had happened. Oh, okay. 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 You said she was sleeping face down at one point? Was her face in the pillow, or was it turned to the side, or how did that? Kind of like on the side. She was kind of like a side sleeper, but she was more more down than usual. Okay. But then she turned, rolled completely onto her back mm-hmm. when you started talking to her? Okay. okay. <clears throat> um, now, as hard as that was, we do need to talk about the girls, too, okay? All right. Thank you. Um, so with the girls, we talked about how they... Uh, got into the truck with you and were alive. Okay. Are you 100% sure that's true? Okay. Um, can, we, can we ask, go back just a second? Mm-hmm. Um, you talked about before that Bella walked in, though, to the bedroom. Can you tell us about that before you left? Yeah, it was, I was just there, like, getting the sheet off the bed, and she had walked in, and she had her little pink blanket with her. She was like, what's, what's wrong? 
jump on me. And where was Shanann at that point? Yeah, just pretty much on the bed, but she was face down. Wrapped in the sheet? What'd you say? I just said, you know, she doesn't feel good. That's when I tried to carry her downstairs. Shanann? Okay. Did you carry her with this? Did you drag her? How did you do it? Tempted to, tempted to pick her up and, and pick her up and take her down, but it lost grip after a little while and decided to pull. Did Bella see you do that? What was Bella saying? She started uh, crying a little bit. She's like, "What's wrong with mom?" And what did you say that time? I said she's good. She's she a smart girl. She didn't she know what was going on there. Mm -hmm. Did she ever touch any of trying to wake her up or anything? No. She didn't want to see her or ask to see her or anything. And so that initial time did she see you put uh, Shanann in the truck? So she was kind of following you? Okay. So she followed you and you put Shanann in the truck. Yeah. And then what? I got, Cece wasn't up yet, or she was, I think she was just in her room, she was getting ready to get out of her bed, and then they were just walking around the house, I was with the, put my lunchbox and stuff in the truck, and then grabbed the kids, and I put them in the bench sheet in the back. Okay. And so Shanann, is she kind of on the floor in the back, and they're just on the bench? Okay. Um, and both alive at that point. Okay. Is there any reason you would feel uncomfortable to tell me that they were not alive at that point? They were. Okay. Could, was it wasn't a video or anything? Um, it's hard to see. Okay. And I, and I believe you. I'm just, um, I'm trying to make sure that I'm giving you all the opportunities to be comfortable enough to uh, tell me exactly. Okay. They, they were alive. Okay. Trust yeah. so, me, I hear that every, every day when a fellow is talking to me on the site. Oh, really? What do you mean? When she said, Daddy, no. When we were driving to the site, she said, Daddy, it smells. Oh, okay. So that that goes back to maybe Shanann evacuating herself? I don't know if it was that. I, you know that smell like a, like a skunk maybe sometimes? Oh, okay. So I got some, some kind of smell that way, but I don't know what that was from. And was that maybe outside the truck or was that in? I don't know. Oh, okay. What did you guys talk about on the way out? They were pretty quiet. They just, you know, laid next to each other. Okay. Maybe Bella in her lap and CC in her lap, just back and forth. Oh, okay. Just trading off like little ones do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Were they awake? I think well, one would kind of fall asleep, the other one. And CC would maybe kind of trade off back and forth. Were they talking to you? Just about, you know, just saying, Daddy, it snows. Oh, okay. Um, it was early in the morning, they were showing up that early. Yeah, okay. Did you have to, so did, you didn't have to wake CC up? No, there was the noise from trying to get Shanae down the stairs. Did she kind of fall down the stairs? No, it was more of like trying to get her down and like, you know, from the steps, maybe her foot hit the next step kind of thing. Oh. Um, they, they were like sleepers. So then... Once you get to the site, tell me what happens. So I get to the, that one site and I get Shanann out to that. Pull over to the part right off the side, the site there. Okay. And the girls are still in the truck. Okay. Did they ask you what you were doing, taking mommy out, or? Yeah, I don't know what I told them, but they did ask that. What did they, what did they say specifically? It was more of like, you know, what are you doing to mommy? Okay. And then is that when you buried her? I didn't, I didn't, I don't, I don't remember if, it, if I dug a, a hole there first or, but I don't, they didn't watch me do that. Okay. So then pulled Shanann out and she's maybe just sitting there on top of the ground? Yeah, like off to the side. Off to the side, close to where she ended up? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
and then the girls, right? Okay. You mentioned Bella was first. Cece is first. Okay. Um, where exactly was she when it happened? In the back seat. Okay. Was she just right next to Bella? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, um, so once again, was it a hand over her face? Was it? It was a blanket over and my hand. And then your hand. Okay. And then so that just stopped her from breathing, type thing. Okay. Did she struggle at all? I don't think so. But my, it, I was blocking her face, and my hand was right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You had one hand here and one hand over her mouth. And we're just pushing her against the back of the seat, type thing. Okay. What was Bella doing? She was sitting there next to. Her. She didn't know what was going on. Okay. Could she see you? Okay. Um, and then. Did that take a minute or two? I didn't have no light concept at the time at this okay. point. Okay. Tell me about what you were thinking. I wasn't. I was thinking in sort of the path. Yeah. Or any partial hint of what I feel for those girls and what I feel for my wife, but nothing is, none of this would have happened, so I, don't, I wasn't thinking. Okay. So she's in the back seat. Okay. Um, and then once she's gone, then is it Bella next, or is did you pull CC out? I pulled CC out. Okay. So once CC's gone, Bella's still there in the car alive, and then you pulled CC out. What'd you do with her? Okay. So she went into the tank, and Bella was still in the back of the truck alive. Okay. Um, with regard to that tank, did you bring up Cece, put her down, open the hatch? Brought her up, open the hatch. And put her in. Okay. When we talked the very first time we met, when we were talking about this, it was a matter of just lowering, lowering her down. Okay. And so she went in feet first. Okay. Was she able to fit pretty well? Was it snug? Okay. I think so. Okay. Did you have to like move her around a little bit and get her in there? I think so. Okay. All right. No, I didn't have to like you know hit her like you know okay. something like that. It's not like you stomped her in. No. Okay. Um, and then close the hatch. Yes. Okay. And then went down to Bella. Tell me what happened there. She said, "What happened to CC?" Or she asked. It's the same thing, the exact same thing that happened to me as CC. Did she ask you that? Okay. So Bella's pretty smart. How did she sound when she asked you that, Chris? She had that, that, that soft voice she always had. Yeah. And what exactly did she say? She said, exactly the same thing that happened to me as CC. And then I said, I don't remember what I said. I don't know if, to, if I just said yes like a horrible person or if I just put, the sh put that blanket over her too and did the same thing. Same blanket, same way? Mm-hmm. Okay. She said no, Daddy. And that's the last thing she said. Did she say no, Daddy, like, please no, Daddy type thing? Did she say saying don't do it? She said, she, she said no, Daddy. Okay. Same way, hand on neck, hand over mouth, or hand over blanket, which is open up. Did that take a couple minutes? I feel like it. Okay. Then, then what? I just noticed she had a couple spots, like over her eye or something, and I picked her up and the same thing. Okay. Um, and we talked a little bit earlier today about it. You don't remember why a different tank? And there was no reason? No, there was, I mean, they're both the same tanks. I mean, there's just like, I don't I don't know why I did two different things. Okay. There's one, I, I never got up there. Does one catwalk lead to both? Oil can go on either tank. Okay. But if you go up one set of ladders, does that eventually yeah, communicate yeah. to both? It's one catwalk. Okay. Now, Bella was a little bit bigger. Was she harder to get in? It, it felt like a little bit. Okay. And so was it a matter of just kind of maneuvering her? All right. Um, so then they're both in there. Um, is there any reason to think they were alive? I don't know. 
when they fell in. Okay. You're pretty sure. Okay. So once that's done, then what? Go over to Shanahan. Clear away some weeds and dig a hole. Okay. Did you have a shovel? Yeah, we have a shovel rake and a weed, weed whacker as part of our tools. 